BYD, the greatest car brand most Westerners have never known about, is trusting it can do a Tesla. It's deep-rooted in China and sells in enormous numbers universally, however it is currently pushing west with a cutting-edge, imaginative, and great worth scope of EVs. It's expecting to get a cut of car by as recently discovered capacity to cross shop into less regular brands, with the seal going about as a radiance item to entice individuals in the manner the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6 have done somewhere else. So it's totally consistent that its freshest and most great EV, the seal, is pressing innovation that altogether continues on the electric vehicle game. Despite the fact that you may be excused for imagining that when you investigate it in the metal for the absolute first time, it has distinct shades of Porsche Taycan about the headlights and front end, with a touch of MK1 Renault Laguna around the back three quarters tossed in just in case. Yet, the shapes somewhere between the smooth bends of a Tesla Model 3 and a Hyundai Ioniq 6, and it's pressing a drag coefficient 0.219 CD. The seal is accessible with two engine choices. There's a 308 bhp single engine back tire drive variation, known as the Plan. It's equipped for 354 miles on a full battery on the WLTP testing cycle and the 0 to 62 miles per hour time is 5.9 seconds. That is longer and faster than a base spec Tesla Model 3, for reference, and more than speedy enough for most preferences. The reach besting double engine, AWD model, called the Greatness, makes 523 bhp and has a guaranteed scope of 323 miles. Somewhat more remarkable than a Tesla Model 3, the American competitor beats the BYD to 62 miles per hour by around half a second and has somewhat more reach. Yet, BYD is so content with its 3.8 seconds 0 to 62 miles per hour time, that you'll find it's hailed as the BYD Seal 3.8S on the bootlid. Under the skin is BYD Z Stage 3.0, a versatile stage that likewise supports the Atto 3 and the Dolphin. Here, however, the 82 kWh lithium particle phosphate sharp edge battery is absolutely underlying, the top front of the battery pack being the body floor. At the charges, it performs well, if not at the main edge. Most extreme charge rates are more noteworthy than the Atto 3 or the Dolphin, and the seal will top up at a mediocre 150 kW from a reasonably strong charger. On a two-stage AC supply, it'll energize at to 11 kW. That won't inconvenience an Ionic 6's charge rate, yet is more than quickly enough for the UK's public organization. The SEAL's Lodge is overwhelmed by BYD's 15.6-inch touchscreen infotainment framework, complete with pirouetting party pieces as it changes from representation to scene at the bit of a button. It functions admirably here than it does in taller vehicles, truly, yet as applications for those value a long forward view on their sat-nav. In any case, in representation mode, there's somewhat of a letterbox impact as it gets awkwardly near the back view reflect. The actual framework is quick and simple to utilize, and a model of straightforwardness and limited plan. The remainder of the inside is likewise to a great extent exceptionally effective. It feels reasonably premium, more so than the moderate Model 3, really, with an additional intriguing stylish and a few extremely pleasant looking trim materials. These including an extremely material kind of calf skin, which lines the scramble and entryway cards. However, that reaches out all through the whole lodge, all that you contact is wrapped in either delicate touch plastic, calf skin or veggie lover cowhide, and the switch gear for the most part feels better, however the glass-like gear selector is somewhat ignoble, and the entryway pulls and segment stalks feel disappointingly plasticky. The seats are very much molded, well managed and they look great. They offer a fascinating blend of delicate quality and backing, albeit some could find the strongly BYD-decorated headrests somewhat crude. Headroom isn't exactly as liberal because of the plunging roofline back there, however, yet it might have been more regrettable, with the tremendous all-encompassing glass rooftop tearing back that extremely significant inch or two. At last, a pleasant level floor implies there's a ton of footroom in the back. Albeit disappointingly, you can't fold your feet extremely far under the front seats. 
boot space is an okayish 402 liters, with a comparatively tight stacking opening to the Model 3. We'd have favored a hatchback, obviously, and can't help thinking about why this fastback configuration couldn't wasn't considered like that. However, there is a 53 liter lidded frunk that ought to make cleaning up charging links somewhat simpler. Move it away from the drag strip, and the seal is significantly more great. Controlling is fast and very much weighted, albeit in game mode, it's likely excessively direct for most preferences. Tone it down to ordinary mode it's still on the more honed side of typical with very forceful reaction around the straight ahead. Beneficial thing, as well, as in corners it feels impartial, turning in responsively and with low degrees of body roll to battle with. There are no controlling wheel mounted paddle controls, and any acclimations to regen are finished inside the settings menu, a disgrace since this can be an exceptionally helpful component. On a downpour impacted test drive, it felt nothing other than certainty moving. Ride quality, is on the brandishing side of agreeable. It's extremely consistent that appears to be fit to UK streets, regardless of whether the people who like a milder encounter may be disappointed by some patter on unpredictable street surfaces. In any case, we saw that the semi-dynamic framework in the Greatness model experienced excessively quite a bit of this, neglecting to settle down completely at specific rates.